sound pretty good, Marcus. Oh, well, thanks. You too. I I'm writing for my uh, new YouTube show, a theme song. Okay. Here, here, let me write you in. You check this out. Right? All right, Ready? go ahead. Laura, uh. let me explain. Oh, oh. it's more the coffee in this cafe. <laughs> You're cooking with Chef Marcus today. Well, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a hit, interesting. Right? There's music happening it's here. I, I tell you, this place just a musical place. Now, now you guys are all brothers. So, uh, when did you start actually playing together as a band? When we were about uh, 16, 17, we started a band with a buddy of ours at a big youth group, and like all oh. the kids in high school went to that youth group. His name was Levi Smith, mm -hmm. and uh, he's like, "Dude, come play at our youth group. There's like 150 kids there every week." So that's what we did, and then... So it started as like a worship band? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. cool. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And, and now you guys are like world famous, and, <laughs> and you stopped by my little coffee shop here. Hey, we saw DC Talk on here yeah, when we were like good. five. Hi! What are you yeah. doing here? You know, well, you're still working I was on craving some hot chocolate, so I thought I'd come in and get some. You bet. Mm. Oh, thanks. I, I can get it. I know how. No, no. You relax. I'll get it for you. Oh, sit come, down. Come okay. on. Come on. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Tell me how everything's going. It's been great. Really? Yes. It's so good not to have a job I get to sleep in. FunFest is your birthday party capital of the world. Our party packages are so much fun and exciting that we call them FunFestic. Let the expert staff at FunFest create a lifelong memory for that special someone in your life. We offer packages for children, teens, and adults. We also specialize in group events ranging from 20 to 300 people. Book your next birthday party or group event today. Call us at 412-828-1100 or reach us online at www.funfestcenter.com. Did you know that 95% of Christian parents do not send their children to Christian schools? One reason parents often give is that they want their kids to be salt and light. A noble idea, but consider that they have the rest of their lives to be salt and light. What they need now is an education where they can learn, think, and learn how to think in an atmosphere where their worldview is supported, not ignored or run down. Give them that and their light will shine. Visit pittsburghchristianschools.net and step up to Christian education. Remember when paying attention to detail was important to building things that last? At Omega Home Improvements, we believe that your siding deserves that same attention to detail so it too is built to last. We specialize in a foam back insulated panel that features five times the energy efficiency and is four and a half feet longer than other panels used on homes today. We're Omega Home Improvements, doing it right from beginning to end. Check it out. New to You Kids features retail clothing for children. Many of our items can be found in high-end boutiques. We provide quality clothing and excellent service and specialize in dressing your children from head to toe for weddings, graduations, holiday wear, and pageants. We recognize that you want your children to look their very best. Therefore, these clothing lines are unique and fashionable. New to You Kids is located at 2405 Sawmill Run Boulevard, Route 51 in Pittsburgh. I know you guys have, you know, you got this thing going, family thing, and it's very, very cool. But it was there, is there a couple of groups or bands that really influenced you? Yeah, I like, um, I mean, me, myself, I like Switchfoot a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, All Star United, I okay. like them a lot. Good. Ian Eskelin's a really good writer, and uh, Luke Levi. Uh, Third Day, Mercy Me, Newsboys. Cool. Anyone that's not ashamed to share the gospel was I, like, I look up to this. So that's guys. your bottom line. I mean, it's not just about the music. It's about making oh, sure yeah. the message is um, solid. Yeah. The name about a mile comes from the study that Jesus carried his cross about a mile. And we like to challenge people at the shows and stuff, you know. What cross is God giving you in your life? Are you willing to take that up? And, Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, I also know you guys are using, you're using a lot of social media to get, get it out there because it's tough. Yeah. It's tough to break into this <laughs> field. Yeah, definitely it is. Um, just going on like tour and and stuff the past 
year over over to, like to California and stuff, mm -hmm. just going everywhere. Kids are like, do you have Tweeter and and you have uh, MySpace and you have this that? And you gotta have everything, you know. Mm -hmm. So we just went all out and made this big website about about a mile .com. It's really cool, and we have everything now. So it's it's actually helped a lot. You know, you you kind of need them when you're doing it. So. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. That's cool. It's, uh, I'm, you know, I'm doing all that here, trying to get the, the cafe on the map and, and make sure, and, and it seems to be working for me, so I'm glad it's working for you guys. Okay, what are you going to do? What's, which first song are you going to do for me tonight? Um, this song we just wrote is called, uh, it's called a, a Piece. A Piece. Mm -hmm. I just made that name up, actually. We didn't name it yet. Didn't name it. it no. It's it's this musical piece, <laughs> this musical rendition. But oh, okay, yeah. but we're we're cutting edge. We're getting in here. It. That's cool. We named all it right, here on his right. place. You guys I'm gonna, take it away. I'm gonna tweet that. Okay, after ladies the show. and gentlemen, about a mile. Give it up for him. Your gun inside your hands I think it's loaded You're gonna put it to an end It's not the way that you want it That's not the way that it has to be Talk to Some peace inside of everyone Hiding under the gun It's never too late to forget how to hate And learn yourself how to love Get your bow tie in a bunch. I'm practicing a new theme song for my YouTube show. Here, check this out. Mr. Wiley wants black coffee all the time. All the, all the. What do you think? Thought you were trying to get viewers. Uh, funny. Listen, this is really, really important. A good theme song sets a tone for the entire show. You feel me? And something new is happening, so I got to get this together because I'm, I'm really about to get a breakthrough here. Is that so? Well, yeah. It's not that good. Okay, well, I mean, it does need a little bit of work, you know, trying to get it together, but, you know, I'm almost there. Thank you very much. If you're really that good, mm -hmm. why don't you join a band over there? Oh, well, it doesn't look like they have a keyboardist. Oh. 
Oh. That's right. This is your perfect opportunity. Oh, you might be right, Mr. Wally. Mm. Well, thanks, Mr. Wally. Excuse me. Right now. Get on out. Excuse me. Don't hurt yourself. Watch yourself. Thank you, brother. All right, then. Don't mention it. Like taking candy from a sucker, sucker. Oop. Hey, Sam. Hey, Tim. Yeah, I'm surprised to see you here, especially with the way you left. Are you mad at me? I'm not mad. Just a little disappointed, though. I'm sorry. I mean, my dad asked me to get a job and try his place out. I worked here for three whole months. I think that's a long enough try, right? Well, okay. Well, what are you doing now? Nothing. Drinking hot chocolate that Laura made for me. She makes it just about as good as I used to. I, I mean, what are you doing? Where are you working? Oh, nowhere. Nowhere? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tim, excuse me. Tom is here to see you. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, nowhere, huh? Yeah. Okay. Tom, oh, what's going on? You're back see, again, man. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good, good to see, see you. Just keep him company. Just keep him Just company. trying to keep him company. Mr. Sportsman, got this <laughs> okay. Super Bowl happening. What's... Oh, man, it's, it's going to be a good one. Uh, many of the experts are projecting that this could be one of the most exciting Super Bowls in, in probably 20 years because you have two perfectly even. Well, they're the same teams, teams basically. Yeah. They're like they, the same they, team. They really are. Well, I, even I, the same work ethic. Yeah. I'm real happy about the Christian aspect of it. Me I mean, too, I'm, buddy. I'm, you know what? I, I've got to handle a couple things. You, you guys okay? You need anything? Nope. No, it's okay, all good. good. Thanks, all good. Tim. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. It's really... Uh, Two identical teams. And, and it's a Western Pennsylvania. Both teams are really Western Pennsylvania. I was just talking to somebody across the street earlier today about that. It's, um, what, Green Bay's coach is, is from... Absolutely. He's, he's from here. you got Darren Perry. you got Kevin Green. Those are coaching the... the Absolutely. It's, it's a lot of, lot, of, lot of homegrown kids, yeah. you know. And, and I think as much as anything, the work ethic of the two teams are identical. Mm -hmm. The Steelers have, have, at least to us in Western Pennsylvania, has all, have always stood, and I think that's why they have the fan base that they do, because they, they, they do it the old-fashioned way. They work hard, you know, and, and they just have a... a not flashy. Incredible. Not no. flashy. No. Both, both towns are kind of that, uh, you know, smaller market towns. They're just people that work. They're all, both blue-collar towns. You bet. So, you know, it, it, I'm sure that the suits when they were watching Chicago and the Jets. Oh, yeah. That's, they were going for, would let those big market teams win. Just Television for, ratings. Yeah. But, but I'll tell you what, I honestly think that you'll have uh, the best ratings. You'll I have think significantly so. yeah. higher ratings because, again, people appreciate that. Pittsburgh has a fan base all over this Absolutely. country. They really, truly do. We're, we're America's team. You bet. Yeah, take that, the, Jerry Jones. We're coming down, baby. <laughs> we're America's team. Play it but in like your, Tim in your, was yeah. saying, you know, there's a, there's a, a spiritual dimension to it, too. And, and I really... I appreciate when these great athletes, when they, they take a stand for their faith, and, and uh, they're, not, they're not shy about it. They're not afraid I of saw, it. I saw a, th a big article on, uh, on Palomalu. I mean, he just oh, my goodness. defensive player of the year. That's right. And, and uh, it's just the dichotomy. He, he is, I guess, Greek Orthodox now. Right. And he, he goes and basically tries to kill people. And then, like, goes and just doesn't even. He's like, I don't even really get into the whole, you know, song thing. It's just, uh -huh. it's just, it's like, it's he's focused. a monk. It's focused. Uh, almost. Matter of fact, a few weeks ago, uh, at, at a church that we go on Saturday evenings, Pittsburgh East, uh, Pastor Lee was talking about having met uh, Palomalu, and he said uh, they were roughly the same size. And it was just amazing. Now, he said his weight was distributed a little bit differently. <laughs> it's kind of cute. But he said that uh, the, the difference when, when Palomalu was talking, he said, was during that two and a half, three hours, is just this extraordinary focus. Yeah. That everything, everything that exists, exists in that hour for football. Yeah. And uh, that's why he's such a great player. Well, it's the same kind of focus, though. If you read that article, the focus off the field mm -hmm. is just as intense. Absolutely. But it's just turned a completely different way. Redirected. Yeah. And that's really what I got out of that, that he's intense regardless of what he sure does. Is. It's just, he's just, it's like a laser beam and he's just moving it over here. Okay, my headlights are over looking this way now. That's right. And, and, and that's just really amazing. It is amazing. His place, his Do you know that your morning cup of coffee can help clothe, feed, rescue, and care for the poorest of the poor? I know it may seem hard to believe, but it can happen. His Place and Kiva Han Coffee have joined forces to bring a special blend of coffee that will change the world. 
Hope Coffee is a direct trade coffee, which means that the families of the people who work hard on the coffee farms receive the funds directly from their harvest. In addition, the profits from Hope Coffee go to help rescue children in impoverished countries and bring the message of God's love to people all around the world. For a limited time, for your gift of $37, we'll send you as our thank you a His Place mug and a 12-ounce bag of Hope Coffee. Together, we're changing the world one life at a time through one cup of coffee at a time. Send your gift today. Hi, my name is Marcus Dupree, and I have a very successful YouTube show. You might have heard it, Cooking with Chef Marcus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, no? Okay, well, you should hear of it. You should tune in, because something new is coming. So anyway, the reason I'm here is because Mr. Wally over there, that, that uh, old man over there, heard me doing writing a new theme song from a, from a show here. So, uh, and he figured I should join your band, because you guys don't have a keyboard. So, you know, what do you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gee, Marcus, can you play a D chord? Well, uh, well, why don't y'all just get started, and uh, I follow up, and you know, we'll just play One, together. One, you know. two, there you go. three, Come on. four. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, <laughs> we're perfect together. Exactly. See, I knew it. Dream come true. Riley, remember me? Of course I remember you. <laughs> What's wrong with you kids? You think something's wrong with my memory? And if you remember me, you know I don't like to be touched. And what are you doing? I thought you quit. You get your job back. Oh, goodness, no. I'm not working. I'm just visiting. Mm hmm. What are you doing? I'm just enjoying life. I don't have a job. <laughs> well, how's that working out for you? Really good. I get to sleep in for as long as I want. I'm meeting a friend for dinner. I just do what I want. Mr. Wiley, your black coffee. Oh, okay. thank you, Laura. Oh, you're welcome. Since she's been here, you're... my coffee's been perfect. Yeah, that doesn't sound very fun. It is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It you know, is. Hey, how's your son doing? Oh, great, great. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Congratulations. I understand the uh, all conference honors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, don't get me started. I'm proud, Dad. I'm proud of my both kids. My daughter just graduated from college, and she did amazingly. And there's nothing and, wrong with that. Um, that you should be proud, buddy. God's blessed. Is cool. Everything is God's cool. God's blessed. Now she's living at home, right? Well, for right now, okay. for right now, All she's right. got, she's got, you know, looking for a job in forensic science. So, you know, that's, that's wow. if you any of your sports buddies. But you know what? I, what I'm interested yeah. about this, I, you know me. I'm not Mr. Sports. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Sports. I'm sports challenged. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm not really, not really there. But the cool thing is, is that how many Christians are involved here? And and uh, you know, for, for me personally, I've never been like a Ben Roethlisberger fan. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought he was a spoiled little kid when he even when he started. But the turnaround, and I know some people boo-hoo and things like that, but the turnaround, I'm really praying for this guy. Me I too, want too. I want God to do great things in him, and I want the influence of the other, you know, I know Larry Foote's a solid Christian, mm -hmm. Randall L., and, you know, so many others, uh, you know, Charlie Troy, Batch. Charlie, ba Charlie Batch, is amazing, yeah. That's significant. Yeah, and all these guys, and I'm just, I'm just so excited about the impact. Me too. Sports has it, such it's a, a worldwide platform. And, and everybody in the world is going to be watching that game. Literally every nation on earth is going to be watching that game. And I thank God, I, I celebrate like you do, Tim, that uh, many of the athletes 
recognize that this is a God's blessing mm -hmm. and they use that platform to be able to share and to witness. And you speak of Big Ben and I, I gotta tell you, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I really, I saw that turnaround. Mm -hmm. uh, coming into this season, uh, here was a broken man. And, and here was a man, and I know that, you know, a lot of people are skeptical of that, and oh, you know, not sure. But yeah, I'll tell you. We're gonna be skeptical until they have at least one off season. Because right. he's so focused now on football that there are gonna be people out there that are saying, well, he's so focused on football, he doesn't have time to get himself into trouble. Do you know what convinced me? Just exactly what I said to you about being proud mm -hmm. of, of, of your, your children and being grateful to God for those accomplishments. Um, in that first interview that he gave, it just, it just, just seen, just rang so true to me and so sincere in what he was saying. But he said when he met with his father, that was the hardest conversation that he ever had in his life. First time that he's spoken with his father, and I just, I thought there, but by the grace of God, go I and and so, so I, it's the real deal. It really, truly is. He had every opportunity to be the old Ben when <laughs> when they won the AFC championship. Oh, absolutely. And when he passed that trophy over and just let it go. I said, man, that guy is going to be something. God's going to take you him bet. and make some. And it's like every prayer I prayed for him was getting, it's getting, getting answers. answers. Well, and it's, you listen to the teammates, too, yeah, with oh, what they yeah, say yeah. about him. Because they didn't say stuff. I mean, they didn't, right. they didn't say anything bad about him, they, but they, they didn't go out of their way to say right. anything good about him either. And now they, they well, really are. Well, at media are. day, he, he made a big deal. It was earlier in the week. He, he made a big deal about... Um, you know, just his focus on this and how he wants to bring this championship back to his fans, back to the people here in Pittsburgh, to his teammates, and, and just the way that he said it, it was just so such a humble gesture. And I really believe that humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Well, the and guy's got a chip on his shoulder, to too. I mean, he's got something to prove. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, get, you get suspended for the yeah. first four games, That's potentially right. six games, of the, and they, they nobody figured that Pittsburgh would go anywhere this year because of that and, and everything exactly. else. Exactly. Well, win or lose, I'm proud of it. What do you mean, I'm, I'm lose. proud of it? No, no, win. Yeah, I, well, I know. Well, well, let's hear it from the sports expert. Win. Who's going to win? Where, where, where are we at? It's, I is think it the going Steelers to be... are the team of destiny this year. I think uh, uh, Green Bay has had a wonderful run. Uh, I think it is going to be a very, very close ball game, yeah. uh, and it's going to go down to the wire. It's going to be that last series. But I just I feel that um, all things being equal, I think that the, the offense for the Steelers is, is, has slightly more dimension to it, and, and I think in the end, I think that will be the deciding factor. It's the one big play. It's going to come that, down that, to one right. big play. Whoever, whichever team gets that one and big Troy, play. Troy is, is going to do I can go get my ass, hopefully. and I can, I can really show you what, like, how I really sound. But in the meantime, look, you got to check this out. Now this... We'll take your music to the next level, okay? Take it out. You may want croissants, I'll bake you bread instead, because I love you. See what I'm saying? You know, a food ballad. See, that's what people want to hear. You know, a mixture of food and music. You know what I'm saying? Because people will eat that up. Get it? Eat it up. <laughs> Woo! Speaking of eat up, people what? do love to eat. Exactly. They do love to eat here. That's what I'm saying. And, and you know what? We need you to wait on them. Could, could you introduce the band oh. and then, oh, okay. then wait on some customers? All right. Well, 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 all right, well, even though they don't want me to be a member of their band, they won't take my advice by using food ballots and everything. You guys change your mind on that? No? I can go get my amp and you guys, I can sit out front, you can back me up? We'll be all right. Okay. okay. Well, I still love them, so here's about a mile again. I swear that you can make it on the trail that you've been taking And I swear it's true, I will always love you Life can get so complicated in this mess you have created But I'll be there for you, I'll be right there waiting If you find yourself alone tonight and the tears run out Afraid to cry it all. 
that you're more precious than life to me Asking why would he die for me I'd do it again I'd do it again and again Cause I I, I tell you what, in, in uh, a year or so, you're going to be going to hear about a mile in really large venues. I'm telling you, these guys are great. If you want to find out more about them, go to hisplace.tv, and we'll send you to their website, and you can find out more about them. And we're glad to have Tom McGuff here with us, and, and uh, we're praying for Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're a little, a little trying. On the next, on the next His Place, Sam Childers will be here, and also Brian Cole.